This is Brother Barnes thinking about superior and inferior mesenteric arteries and veins, arterial versus venous. Trying to think like a teacher thinks so that we can be better test takers. To get this thing started, I need to trace the abdominal aorta down through the abdomen. It splits into the common iliacs, which lead to the external iliacs. There are internal iliac arteries that plunge into the pelvis to supply pelvic organs. Thinking about the celiac trunk coming off first, which supplies oxygenated blood to the upper abdominal organs. The superior mesenteric artery, which comes off to go to intestines, supply intestines with blood. Renal arteries, we have a left and a right renal artery going to kidney, kidneys. Gonadal arteries are what serve the male and female sex glands. And then the last thing that we're going to allow to exit in our picture is the inferior mesenteric artery also to intestine. The quandary is this. If there are superior mesenteric arteries and inferior, or if there is an inferior mesenteric artery, that should be singular, by the way, exiting off of the aorta, then we think these should be re-entering onto the inferior vena cava from the intestines from whence they came. But let's take a look at this. We don't see them here. The external iliacs dump into the common iliacs to go to the inferior vena cava to go back to the right atrium. That's where we're heading here. Remember that we do pick up internal iliac veins. We see that there are hepatic veins that lead back into the inferior vena cava. We see that there are renal veins heading back to the inferior vena cava. We also see gonadal veins heading back to the inferior vena cava. But the problem is, where are the inferior and superior mesenteric veins? Where are they located? Let's figure this answer out together. We're going to answer the question by looking at the hepatic portal system. The gastric vein drains blood from the stomach into the hepatic portal vein, which goes to the liver. Splenic vein drains spleen area, also dumps into the hepatic portal vein, which goes to the liver. The inferior mesenteric vein, which drains nutrient-rich food particles, food fundamental particles from the intestines back toward the liver through the hepatic portal vein. This is the superior mesenteric vein draining into the hepatic portal vein. Why is this important? Because the liver is an organ of detox. It's a beautiful system that you and I have so that we eat something that has pesticides in it. It gets detoxed in the liver before the hepatic veins drain this blood back into the inferior vena cava so that it can go back into the general circulation. It's an extremely beautiful system that we have, a safety system. Remember that water alcohol, things like that, a lot of times they get absorbed rather rapidly. Eventually, alcohol is detoxed in the liver. Remember, if there's too much of that, you can wind up with cirrhosis of the liver. So we have answered the question. We know that there is a superior and in an inferior mesenteric artery coming off of the aorta. The question was, where is the superior and inferior mesenteric vein going back to the inferior vena cava? It's not there. Why is it not there? Because it's within the hepatic portal system. That is the answer to the question. These are the awesome questions that are wonderful test questions. We need to master this, students. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. This is what creates a community. Keep coming back.